Hey everyone, it's Jonathan here from Bitmore World's product development team, and today we are talking about hood louvers. This is a project that we have derived from our Pikes Peak program. Today we're out here doing some testing on one of our shop cars. Now you may be asking yourself, what sets our louvers apart from the rest? The big thing is our front gurney leading edge on the louver itself. And just like your rear wing when you're trying to make big downforce and you have a leading edge, the same effect is shown here on the louvers. Um, essentially air as it flows over the hood will hit this gurney, have to flow up and over everything, creating a low pressure zone over the louver itself and it effectively sucks air out from inside the hood. All right, so here we kind of have an overview of some of the, the pre-production uh, testing that we did iterative design for different bend angles. Um, this is the one that we settled on, and then you can see that we went with some that had more, more material, less clearance between the bends, some that had less material, more clearance be between the bends. Just finding that happy medium between you know, aesthetics, strength, um, rigidity for the hood structure itself. All right, so here is just kind of an overview of the louver itself. Um, I guess the point I'm looking at here is, you know, rivet holes. We've got quite a few on this piece. Um, that's because the louver is still kind of a structural part of the hood. Oftentimes you'll see people at the track lift up their hood and it's flopping around doing all this stuff and they've got louvers because they've just got big holes cut in their hood. So we wanted to try to retain and build some structure back into the hood as opposed to just, you know, having a hole and a piece that, that sticks onto it. Another point on that for rigidity and uh, just part toughness in general is, um, the finishing that we chose for our louvers. We went with powder coating instead of anodizing um, for really one main reason. As you anodize a part, it creates oxide layer on the surface of the aluminum. And for sheet metal parts specifically, as that part gets bent, um, the anodized and oxide layer will crack and create micro cracks in the structure. Then vibrations and stuff will come through and start to flex that, that piece and eventually it will end up failing. So we had seen some posts on different Facebook groups like E36 track cars and things like that where the, um, the people's hood louvers themselves were, were breaking, the fins are falling off, and it's nine times out of ten we see that it is an anodized louver. So went with powder coat for strength, durability, and just overall strong part. So here you can see that we have our car currently set up with a bunch of strings stuck all over the hood. Now it looks a little bit silly, but it's actually a really good visual to kind of see how airflow is moving over the car. Um, different placement of different strings. You know, we've got stuff here just in the front of the hood where there's not a whole lot of air movement going on. Um, it's just gonna be a laminar flow over the top. We've got some here on the leading edge that should show how the air is flowing in this area and the air is kicked up. Some over top of the louvers themselves and then down back behind so we can just kind of visualize the air moving as a whole over the car. Um, so this also can transition into kind of what is the use case? What, why would you want louvers on your car? So there's a couple main reasons. One is kind of the obvious of increased cooling. You know, your engine bay is just a big parachute. Air can funnel in through the, the front of the grills, but can't go anywhere. So this offers a hole for everything to actually move out so you get more air at moving over your coolers, um, over your intercoolers, all that good stuff. The second thing that also kind of ties into that parachute effect is downforce, or more exactly, lift reduction. As air piles into the front of the car, it actually tries to pick it up a little bit. Now that we are getting that air out, the front wheels are not being lifted up off the ground and it's actually reducing that lift. So you have more traction on the front at higher speed, more stability, more cooling overall, just a more balanced, happy to live with car. All right, we've made it back inside uh, from the parking lot. Unfortunately, this car is not road legal, so we can't do prolonged testing outside. Um, but what we do have here is our grassroots wind tunnel setup. So we got some data from outside, now we're gonna put the fan on and see if we can visualize things uh, a little bit more controlled inside of here. Get this guy up and rolling. All right, so right off the bat, 
you can see a lot of the strings are getting pretty active over top of the louvers. So what we're looking at is the air coming over and staying up against the hood. These are staying nice and flat. And then as you make its leading edge, all of a sudden you think that air is compacting, coming up and over and creating that low pressure zone that is then pulling those strings up, which is showing that the air is actually coming out of the louvers. And that's with the car stationary, no air flowing in. It's just that low pressure acting as a vacuum to pull all the strings out. Same deal on the outside louvers, doing the same thing. Smooth air coming up, hitting the leading edge, low pressure zone over top, extracting the air from inside your engine bed. All right, so there you have it. Um, as I've been designing these, the, the math, the concepts, CFD and everything, um, all that on paper works, but it's really cool to actually see how everything works in the real world. You know, see the airflow over the hood, the strings moving as I expect them to. So that was honestly a super cool test and pretty stoked that we got to do this. Um, so yeah, these hood louvers are available on Bim World's website, bimworld.com right now. Um, if you enjoy this kind of content, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tune in for the next one. Ready to kill? Should be an awesome race weekend. We are ready to kill it this year. It's good. It's going to be a wild ride. What are they doing? Making your car faster.